people. Well, we just started yesterday afternoon. We picked up the trailer. Picked up the empty trailer. And uh, head down here to uh, Rialto. Like, they got low 
really want to. There's really nothing for me to do there. You know, that's the funny thing is I've lived there for 12 years. There's nothing for me to do. So, anyways, I, I just thought that was kind of funny. My whole week is shot because of one canceled load. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. These people are ridiculous in driving. So, anyways, it is California, so we're going to get back to driving. Uh, see what we can't find out in Vegas. Seems like a lot of the good stuff pops up and then, you know, so I'll just sit there and wait. See, that there is why Amazon shouldn't force you to turn your truck off, right? Turn the truck off, it may not start again. So when I got there, I scanned in, and he's like, you're gonna drop the empty, and I'm like, I don't know, they told me to take the empty back. He's like, well, I got nothing for you, so. I mean, he was a real cool kid, but he was like, I don't know, just, just drop the empty. I'm like, all right, well. So then when I dropped the empty, then the other one came across uh, and it said to pick up an empty. So I'm like, great. And I had to recheck in. And there's a whole, you know, it's the clusterfuck of dealing with computers. He's like, yeah, I mean, I'm going to check you in and then, you know, hopefully the, the, the trailer's still there. Like inbound or outbound might have taken it already. Because as soon as they see an empty trailer, they grab it. So I was like, dude, don't worry about it. You know, he's like, do you want a case number? I'll just give you a case number, and, you know, because I have it because we have no empties. Like, we need empties desperately. So I was like, well, screw it, dude. Keep it, you know. I'm like, I'll call him up and let him know. Uh, so called him up. She was like, yeah, okay, I, I, I already died, I, I bought you. I was like, all right, cool. So, there's that. Uh, so, going back up to Vegas, Bob Joe. So, I was looking at convoy loads, and there's a convoy, it's just an empty trailer move from my old stopping ground over to UPS, which is literally like a mile away. So they were bidding like, uh, what, uh, 130 bucks to pick up the trailer and go like a mile away. And I'm like, well, I'll put in 150 bucks, you know? Uh, I mean, Amazon paid me $250 to basically do nothing, but I was like, you know, what do I got to lose? So I put in a $150 bid and then they accepted it, so. That's going to be my very first load with Convoy. Um, sometimes they got good stuff. The problem is, is I'm usually sitting at uh, I'm usually sitting at home when this stuff comes through. I mean, lately they've been having like three dollar a mile stuff to go from uh, Vegas to Ontario and back up to Vegas. So. I don't know, maybe something like that will pop up for me, or I'll see what comes up. And, and of course, Amazon, like for today, like their shit's popping up. Uh, so I don't know if they have uh, not capacity issues, but uh, inventory or product issues, because it seems like, and this has been for the last couple of weeks, uh, it seems like they're posting stuff at the last minute for really good rates. And I, I mean, three, you know, three dollar a mile loads, two something, like high twos, low threes. Like I think I see one that was going to Phoenix for like three twenty-eight a mile or something, which is cool. So I'll just hang out and, and hopefully, uh, 
grab something. So we'll see what happens.
Well, good morning, people. Sitting here in Henderson. Uh, so, booked another load, which is kind of weird. Waiting for them to cancel it. Let me see. Let me make sure. Um, cooking breakfast right now. I think it's like 11. Nope, just turned noon. So I should be eating dinner, right? Um, so, nope, doesn't look like they canceled it. So I can't pick up until 1.23 uh, this afternoon. So it was kind of weird and it kind of worked out perfectly. So I got back yesterday around 2.30 in the afternoon and uh, I booked a load and picked up a load going from North Las Vegas to like a flex, I don't know, the little, I don't even know what you call them, the, the little, um, you know, where, where all the crap gets loaded on the little trucks. I've been to like two or three of them now and they, they all suck. This one wasn't too bad, but it delivered in the middle of the night. Like uh, I had to pick it up by 1045. Uh, I think I got there at like 1030 at night. So the problem with that is, is my hours still had not reset. But since it's cruising around Las Vegas, I figured, you know what, I'll just PC. Go pick up that trailer and uh, head over to, uh, you know, it was like 10 miles away. Drop it and then I'll just come over here to Henderson and uh you know take my real 10 hour break because i i couldn't go to like if i was gonna book something that left at like midnight like i hadn't slept i got up like seven in the morning you know the day prior so i don't usually go to bed until you know 10 11 o'clock at night anyways uh so i was like well i'll just grab that come over here and then just you know take my 10 over here in henderson and then you know uh it leaves at one 40, 123 in the afternoon, which is fine by me. And then, so here's the weird thing, is I gotta get up to Salt Lake by midnight, which is not a big deal, uh, and then get back to Vegas by 743 in the morning tomorrow. So they expect me, hang on, hang on. Okay, had to flip my bacon. So they expect me to go up to Salt Lake, deliver the load, and then take it empty all the way back. So here's the problem. I gotta take a 30. If I get up there early and they don't have any empties, they're gonna make me stay up there until midnight uh, before they can release me as far as a bobtail because that's that's, you know, I have to be within an hour of the um, the appointment time. So it's what is it? It's it's seven hours to get from freaking Salt Lake back down to Las Vegas. So I don't understand how they expect me to do that. Um, what I'll do is, considering it's an empty and it's not that big of a deal, I'll probably say, listen, there's no way I can make that time with the hours that you guys allotted me. Uh, considering it's an empty, can I just extend my hours? Uh, because this is kind of stupid, the way that they got it set up. But it was paying like two something a mile. So, I mean, it was good money. It was almost $2,000. Uh, if you go up to Salt Lake and back, so, but, uh, let's see, I gotta turn off my bacon, so, that's what's going on, um, you know, the only concern that I got, like I said, I gotta take a 30, I gotta get fuel, um, so that's not gonna leave me much time, but, uh, oh, update, the air conditioner ran all flip at night, all throughout the day here, you know, until noon, and it was running strong. I just turned it off because now I gotta make breakfast. Um, can't run both at the same time. I just got the windows down, a nice little breeze going. But, uh, 
I think I figured out what happened with my last generator. So the way that I have the generator in there, um, and it's Predator, it's the Predator generator. Uh, the way that the generator was in there, I strapped it down with, with a strap and it crushes it. So I think, and the gas tank is plastic and it sits this close, this close to the freaking muffler uh, or the backside of the, of the muffler and it melted and it burst because of the, the pump, you know, puts like two PSI or three PSI of pressure on there. So basically it blows it up like a balloon, you know, with, with two or three PSI and it burst. So I was getting gas everywhere last night. I'm like, what the hell? And gas was leaking. I tried to fill it back up. As soon as I filled it up, it was just leaking all over the place. So I took it apart. You know, this was at eight, nine o'clock at night. So I uh, rigged it up to where now my external gas can is connected with the pump directly uh, to the on off switch on the generator. So now it's got a seven gallon tank directly connected to it. And uh, it's working, it's working great. It's, it's just absolutely awesome. So anybody that's kind of done, you know, what I've done, you know, you might want to look at just connecting it directly to the, uh, to the switch. I think it's a quarter inch fuel line, the same fuel line for everything. Uh, for the pump, for the for the filter, for all that stuff. So, anyways, just thought I'd update on that. So I don't foresee having any more issues. The only crappy thing is, is when I got to take it out to do an oil change, it may uh, be like one more step. I don't know. I was thinking about getting those quick disconnects, but I think those leak a lot. Uh, the experience that I've had with them, they seem to leak especially going up and down the mountains and stuff you know with the pressure change of the uh altitude but uh i don't know i think i'll just deal with it but uh so yeah there is the update let you know if anything happens good morning everyone it's actually not morning it's 8 52 at night so yeah I'm a glutton for punishment. There goes my freaking CD thingy. Uh, so, I did that uh, Salt Lake run. Yesterday was not a good day. So, yesterday was not a good day for driving. Um, Yes, they had the 15 shut down because some guy stole a police car and started shooting everybody. And then that bottlenecked everything. I stopped before I got up to it and took a 30, actually an hour break. But, uh, so the problem with that is, is it bottlenecked everybody. And then when we got into, we got into pacing, um, hang on, there's a car in the middle of the road. When we got to Payson, they're doing road work. They were doing road construction down to one lane. So two lanes were blocked. So I sat in that because of everything that happened prior. Uh, it caused a bottleneck out there. And uh, so... I got stuck in that for probably about 30 or 45 minutes to go about two miles, I think it was. Maybe it was three miles. Uh, so, hauled ass home. Um, I got to Bobtail, which is good, uh, because I told um, the guy, I don't know if the other, they hung up on me twice. I got the same guy for the Amazon, you know, uh, ROC, whatever they are. And uh, so I didn't understand a word that he was saying. 
by. And I was like, oh, because I told him, I'm like, dude, there's no way I'm going to make it back to Vegas by 7.43 in the morning. So I got three hours to drive, and it's seven and a half hours to get back to Vegas. I said, there, there's no way. Uh, and he's like, oh, if you bought tell, don't worry, don't worry. So I was like, all right. So uh, when I got home, I did the uh, little trick that... Uh, Mr. Amazon himself uh, told me in a comment, uh, trucker style shot. So I just went ahead and checked in there and was done. And uh, so I booked a load for today, which is now Thursday. Yeah. So I booked a load for Thursday, which is going to uh, Phoenix and back. So. That starts at, uh, I think the pickup time is 10.45 p.m. But the good thing is, is it's not a tight crunch type of a load. Usually like something like that, they'll be like, okay, you got 10 hours to complete it or whatever. Which is fine, because you can actually make it to Phoenix and back to Vegas uh, in one shot. But they're giving me a whole one day and one hour. Uh, to do this run, which is good, because when I get down to when I get down to Phoenix, uh, I'll probably crash out. Try to try to get my quad, try to get back on a uh, on somewhat of a normal schedule, and I'll probably stay down in Phoenix because I'll get there about four o'clock in the morning. So I'll be able to leave at like two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, which will get me back up to Vegas. Uh, let's see, two, three, four, five, six, seven o'clock at night. Um, I might try to find something for, if they have anything for Friday, Saturday. So, I don't know. Whether or not it'll get me back on schedule, who knows, but we'll see what happens, but it's another 1200 bucks. Just to go to uh, these, these people out here just to go to Phoenix and back, so not too shabby. That run with Forward Air used to pay, uh, I wanna say around 500 bucks. So now it's paying, with Amazon, it's paying me almost 12, so not too bad. But, all right guys, Let's see what happens. All right. So, out here in Vegas, my scheduled trip was at 22.45. I get down there, and um, guys like, yeah, that, that was canceled. And uh, this is the second time they canceled on me. So I get there, they said, and, and uh, they said, no, that canceled. And then I called ROC and the dude, like, right away, no, they didn't cancel it. That load's still live. I'm like, dude, I don't know what to tell you. I got a case number. Here's the case number. I gave them the case number. And he's like, well, I talked to the cancellation team, and the cancellation team still has said that that load is still live. I'm like, well, I don't know what to tell you, dude. I was like, they gave me the thing. I said, I've already left. And he's like, oh, well, you need to go back. I'm like, listen, I'll go back. But I said, they told me it was canceled. So I get back. They said, no, look. And, and so the lead guy even came out. I was like, listen, th th it's canceled, man. There's nothing here. He's like, look, he showed me a laptop. I was like, dude, I believe you. I don't know what the hell I'm looking at. And uh, so Apu told me to wait until 11.30, which is was my dead, my cutoff time, right? So wait waited until 11.30. I actually went to go get the truck washed. They did a really good job. Um, I got the whole shebang. I figured I'd treat her. Um, I'd treat her with uh, a nice bath. I haven't had gotten her washed since uh, I got it back in, what, March? I mean, I went to go wash it myself. Uh, I just didn't, like, where I took it was a self-wash, you know, kind of a truck wash thing over by my house, which is kind of cool. 
Um, but I just used it to get all the salt and crap off. And this was back in February or March or something like that. So, so she deserved a good wash. So I went over there, uh, cause it was like 11 o'clock. I'm like, I'm not sitting around here for 30 minutes just to know that it's been canceled. And plus they kicked me off the property. Basically they're like, well, you can go park over there. Cause I was parked on the property and they're like, yeah, you can go park over there on the street. Um, basically you can't park here so i was like screw it i'm just gonna go get the truck wash went to go get the truck wash while they were washing it uh i called up uh you know for the call back and he called back he's like yeah you know uh cancellation okay your load has been canceled does it update on the the relay app and i'm like yeah yeah it's updated dude um i said so what is my compensation on this i said this is the second time you guys cancel a load on me said i drove 170 miles i slept all day so i was able to do your guys's flipping load and then you cancel on me at the last like literally the last minute and i was like so like i said i told the guy which i mean i know this doesn't do because he has no control or anything he's probably getting paid you know 50 cents an hour to sit there and answer these calls but uh i'm like I'm like, dude, if I cancel on you guys at the last minute, you guys are going to fuck up my, my score, and I'm not going to be able to get certain perks for six weeks or seven weeks. So I said, you guys changed your shit, but I'm like, if you guys cancel on the last minute, it's no big deal. Like, you, you just say, okay, you know, whatever, you get canceled. And I'm like, I was just like, dude, I, I I said, I don't understand you guys. I'm like, what is it? It's just trucking, right? That's trucking. And basically he said, yeah. So they gave me a uh, truck ordered, not used, I guess. Well, let's see. Let's look at this live. Trips. I love sitting here because people are completely... Uh, these trucks around here get completely crazy. Oh, they gave me $175. So basically, I got a dollar a mile to come down here. Uh, they gave me 175 bucks. Big whoopee flipping do. That load was going to pay $1,200. Close to $1,200. bucks. <coughs> So what do I got? I got like nothing for the week. Let's see. Let's do this live. So I got $897.15 for taking an empty trailer down to California because they canceled my load and Bob telling back. And then I got the 1838.24 for going up to Salt Lake and back. Plus my big whopping $175 for truck order not used. Grand total $2,910.39. I mean, at least I got home this week. So I guess that's not bad. I still have like, what do I got? I got 43 hours left on my clock. Crazy, huh? So I got a shitload of time and I've only gone like 1,200 miles this week. So that ain't bad. 2,900. That's 241 a mile this that I've gone. So I need to get something. I need to get something uh, for today and tomorrow. To finish out the week, I want to at least get three grand, you know, or, or four grand, something like that. So, anyways, I'll let you know what happens. This is complete BS, but I don't know if you guys know what's going on with freaking Amazon, let me know. But that's trucking.
Well, good morning. It is Friday. Um, so, going back and forth from night driving to normal driving. So, I found a lot about 1.30 in the morning. And uh, it's going down to Phoenix again. But this time, instead of paying 203 a mile, it's paying almost 250 a mile. So maybe I made out. I, I don't know. Because I wouldn't have gotten that load. Um, I wouldn't have gotten that load if I would have taken that other one and didn't cancel on me. So I get the 175 bucks plus the uh instead of so that other load was like 1185 uh this one's like 1400 bucks so there goes the generator it's working good i'm making coffee in fact let me turn it down all right so uh it picks up at 9 30 it is eight something 842 i just got my hours back so that's good because the thing is is i'm glad that i did this is uh I, I didn't know and i'll be able to pc back over there because that was my last spot but uh i, I didn't know what was going on um you know last night as far as like am i coming am i going what am i doing so I just PC'd out of there, went to go get a truck wash uh, to wait for them to figure out what the hell they were doing. And then uh, I, I basically PC'd over here to uh, my old spot where I used to park the truck, the trucks. Um, which whenever I come to Vegas, this is where I stay. Uh, it's, it's just, <coughs> it's a lot easier. I know I'll get a parking spot because there's always parking here. But uh, it's kind of a side street. And uh, I know I'll be okay because there was a truck parked over here. The guy died. And his truck sat here for like two and a half years. So I, I know I'll be okay. It's finally gone. I don't know what happened if they... If they uh, I mean, obviously they towed it, but I don't know if it got towed because it was sitting here for two and a half years and somebody finally was like, dude, um, or, or, you know, if the parking authority came and, and took it or if somebody actually called in on it, basically is what I was going to say. So, but anyways, um, so yeah, good deal, huh? So we're going to go down to Phoenix. I haven't seen anything else on the board. I was hoping... Well, this will bring me back until tomorrow, uh, Saturday, which is the cutoff. Um, so maybe when I get back Saturday, uh, I'll still have, uh, maybe I can find something because I'm supposed to be back here. If I can, if I'm just bringing back an empty, I can get down there, drop the load and get the empty and come back up and, uh, I'll be back tonight because you can do a turnaround to Phoenix. Um, I used to do them all the time. As long as the traffic isn't horrible. And it is Friday. But it's during the day. So hopefully I can get down there, drop it, and start heading up before it gets insanely crazy. But I should get down there around 2, 2.33. So if I can start heading back to Vegas, I'll do that. But anyways, we'll see what happens. Oh, they had my trailer ready. It's still sitting in the dock, but can't complain about that. Hey, did you guys know that Amazon pays for uh, CDL trading? You just have to reimburse like 5% or something like that. I thought that was interesting. So they're training these guys. Uh, they get them to get their CDL and then they train them by uh, putting them in the uh, yard the 
yard goats, uh, which I thought was kind of interesting. And then after that, they stick them in their little tiny, you know, their little uh, box trucks. Or not their box trucks, but their, uh, what is today? I think this delivers today. They stick them in their little day caps and have them do local work. And then uh, I think they, it's something about, they have to have it for like a year. Um, I don't know, the guy was kind of telling me last night about it. I thought it was pretty interesting that Amazon is paying for CDL training. L V R. Maybe they're training them how to, especially out here, since this is one, I think there's one of two or three states that, um, that you're allowed to get your uh, autonomous vehicle license. So maybe they're training them to get their autonomic vehicle license. Anyways, let me get out of here. This guy here looks like one of them. He looks like he's about 16 years old. So, anyways, off to Phoenix. Good morning. It is Saturday, 22nd, 9 a.m. Sheesh, man. Well, I think I've only worked, I think I'm only going to work one month or one week this month. And it was a crappy week. So, got back from Tucson, or not Tucson, Phoenix last night. I think it was around 9 p.m. 10? No, it was around 10. So that was a good little uh, round trip run for... Uh, oh, and they bobtailed me, which was weird. Um, so that was a good little round trip. Uh, and you could do it. It's like 10 and a half hours of Luckily, I didn't get any traffic, which was weird because it was Friday, and usually there's a bunch of traffic uh, coming up to Vegas, but maybe it's because I left later, but uh, that was a 1473 uh, trip, so that, that wasn't bad, that wasn't bad, and then, you know, Bob telling, so our grand total for the week, which... Uh, so when I woke up this morning, I checked the load board, or I checked the Amazon relay, and uh, there was there was one going because I was looking at Salt Lake because Salt Lake had a had a bunch of loads, and they had some going to Reno that were paying like three fifty a mile or something. So I was like, well, that would be a cool little trip. I just need to get up to Salt Lake. So I checked Vegas. And they had a load going from here to Salt Lake for like 415 a mile. It was like almost 1700 bucks. And I was like, oh, but I just woke up and I was like, where am I? You know? Um, but, uh, and then it refreshed and it was gone. I was like, man, that probably would have been a good, a good load. And it picked up at 9 a.m. And so I woke up at like 8.15 or something like that. Um, but I was like, man, I should have grabbed that. Because that would have still been on this week's check. But so far, so I made $4,384.04 this week. Um, and I still have, I think I still have like 36 hours. Oh, I got... I got 31 hours and 58 minutes left on my clock. Like, I got almost half of my 
my on my on my seventy. So I mean I, I don't know. Uh, I'll probably just go home and say screw it. There's like nothing. Usually on like third, it seems like Thursday and Friday, Amazon posts all their their weekly loads. Um, they haven't posted anything, so I, I don't know what's going on with that. Um, I don't know if it's because it's Memorial Day, uh, if it's because of the ships sitting out in the ocean. Um, and they're not getting their stuff from China and India and, and wherever. I don't like to have a, that small of a week. You know, I, I try to do over five grand a week. But uh, it's going to really suck because next week I am not going to deal with the traffic. Um, it's going to be insane. I, I, I think it's going to be absolutely insane. This is the first nice major holiday weekend uh, that's after, you know, the, the uh, pandemic. And I think people are going to be itching to get out and uh, go do stuff. So... I think I'm going to play it safe and stay at home. But um, if I find anything, I'll update. But uh, it doesn't look like... Here, they got one going to Houston. They got one going to Houston. I go to Houston, Texas. For 264 a mile. But look, I mean, they got stuff on here for a dollar forty-nine a mile, a dollar forty-nine a mile. Uh, going down from Vegas to Ontario, California, a dollar eighty-one a mile. Like that's not even eighty cents of that is going to your freaking uh, your IFTA. So it's like it's not even worth it. Let's see, dollar forty nine, dollar forty nine, dollar seventy five. It's just, it's it's insane. It's the rates are shitty. Um, so, like I said, I won't take anything, you know, under a buck ninety one, dollar ninety, something like that. But. So, anyway, and if you guys look at it, you remember, I'm doing round trips, okay? So, I'm coming back to Vegas, like, like that one that was going up to Salt Lake paying $4.15 a mile, okay? If that would have been a round trip back to Vegas, uh, empty, it would have been like two-something a mile, right? That That's like the Tucson that I took, or, or I mean the Phoenix that I took yesterday, it paid like two what 245 a mile or something like that if i would have just gone down there you know and no trip back then it would have been like four something a mile um so i was thinking you know with the bobtailing situation basically i can do uh you know a check in on the phone and uh I could have probably found something in Tucson. I don't know how that works yet. I mean, in Phoenix. Um, so I was thinking, you know, if I could sit there and show that I made it back to Vegas and then booked another load, if Phoenix had any loads going from there to Vegas, then I could double my profit. So, I mean, if I'm bobtailing, what does it matter? Like, I don't have their trailers. I, I don't have an empty trailer. So, I don't know if that would get me, you know, in trouble if I do it too many times. I don't know. The two people that I talked to on the phone that I could barely understand for Amazon said, when you're bobtailing, and I'm just piecing all this stuff together from kind of what I've understood from them, like, it doesn't matter when you're bobtailing. So, 
like if I'm bobtailing, if I'm on my last leg and I'm up in Salt Lake and they bobtail me, like can I just say, okay, I made it uh, in the trip and then pick up a load in Salt Lake going to, let's say, like Boise? Because I see a lot of the times they have like loads going to Boise that pay, you know, and it's just going to Boise. Again, it's just a one-way trip over to Boise. Um, paying like right now they got like three on the board for 324 a mile which isn't bad it's only like 300 miles so even if I did a round trip dropped it and bobtailed back or something like that I don't know I don't know I'd have to make it worth worth my while but you know bobtailing doesn't really take much of anything right what is this guy doing no dude it's the next one you come here all the time you know Oh, and then he's going to hit a car. These people. So, anyways, that is my week. I think I'll probably take next week off unless I can find something that's, you know, maybe Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe Thursday. I don't really want to be out in the road, um, especially down in the California. But, uh, anyways gonna go make my coffee and I'm gonna go home. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.